Hello and welcome to our virtual home tour for Sustainable House Day 2020. For some information on the background of this project and how it was inspired by the Greeny Flat, please see our part one video. Now, over to the old fibro cottage. So, as I said, this was a fibro cottage with a tile roof. It had vents through the walls. It had no insulation. It was really uncomfortable. So what we did with this house we started by removing all of the asbestos, which left the frames exposed. And that allowed us to, well, first we um, upgraded all the electrical and plumbing system that was exposed, sealed up all the air leaks, insulated the walls. We replaced all of the old um, timber double hung windows, single glazed with, with um, double glazed windows. And then we reclad. Once we finished that, we added this awning on the west side, which gives us this nice covered outdoor space, as well as really helping to limit the amount of um, hot afternoon sun in the summertime that hits that western wall. Uh, pretty much middle of winter right now. You can see this is the north wall in, in full sun. And once again, there's enough of a roof overhang here so that in the summer, that, that wall's completely shaded. So um, what we've tried to do with our renovation here is to um, adopt as much of the, the systems that worked in the Greeny flat as we could into a retrofit of an old house. We were limited on the amount of glass that we could put on the north side. I would have liked to have put more and bigger and taller windows, but because of the heritage conservation rules, we were, we were limited to basically what you see here. So in order to take maximum advantage of, of that winter sun, we did a couple of things. So we, we actually added a couple of windows on this side of the house to get more sun into the house. And then there's a, a gap under here that's screened so insects can't get in. There's a space behind this corrugated metal. When the sun hits it, as it is now, that warms up up into that box that you see along the top there. But by closing those vents, we capture that hot air up there. And then there's ducks that run up to a fan in the attic, which there, and then more ducks that run over to the back bedrooms. The other thing we did here, this window is, a, is sort of frosted glass to kind of hide the fact that behind, right directly behind it, there's a brick chimney um, that's painted black. Now, this uh, is borrowing an, an old idea that sort of started in the 70s called a trombi wall, where you have a brick wall facing the sun and then glass right in front of it. Sun shines through the window, it heats the brick and the brick stores the heat on the inside of the house. Uh, we also added a, a fairly efficient reverse cycle air conditioning system. We don't use that very much, but it's nice to have on the few days where it's extremely hot or extremely cold. After we've done all the outside of the walls, we took the old tile roof off. Heavy materials like brick and tile on the outside of a building in Australia, especially dark colored ones like you see in so many new houses these days, is just the wrong thing to do in our climate. Dark colored materials soak up and store all that heat on the outside of the building in, a, in what is basically a hot climate. So in my opinion, light colored, lightweight materials make more sense. So we replaced the tile roof with a light colored color bond roof that reflects the heat. And, um, and then after we'd done that, we added the solar power system onto the roof. Here's our clothesline for this house. And our the laundry's in here. We'll just pop in and have a quick look at what we've done to the inside up here. So we're coming in through, a, this is the back door, a little mud room here. Uh, on my left is a, is a little room that we shortened in order to move the kitchen. Uh, so this is what was the kitchen. Uh, you can still, we see we kept lots of the old kitchen cupboards. And then we framed in this little corner to put a second bathroom. This area I'm standing in here was a hallway. So we took the wall out of the hallway and continued took the wall out from what was part of that other room, moved the kitchen into here, opened things up, so we've now got open plan kitchen, living, dining room. And you can see, once again, because of the 
the north facing windows we've got uh, lots of sun and light coming in since we had the solar power put on about six months ago we've we've also exported about two and a half times as much power as we've imported from the grid and then just quickly we haven't really done much to this rest of the house uh, through there is the master bedroom there's another bedroom there another bedroom there and the toilet and bathroom which we haven't touched at this point yeah so basically between the greenie flat and the renovations to this house we've now got um, an entirely energy positive pro property um, make, exporting way more power than we're using we, you know we're, we're um, charging an electric car we, we're um, both houses are really comfortable they're really easy to maintain and uh, basically we couldn't be happier Thanks for looking and you can find plenty more information about this project and the Greeny Flat at greenyflat.com.au.